Junior. Hey, Cody, what's up, loser? Cody, nervously. Not much, Junior, just trying to live my life. Junior, sarcastically. Oh, sure, living your life as a gay, nerdy outcast. How exciting. Cody, sighs. I wish I could be like you, Junior. Confident and popular. Junior, laughs. You, popular? You're like the human version of a sad trombone. Suddenly, Joseph, a homeless man, appears. Joseph. Hey, guys, what's going on? Junior. Disgusted. Nothing, Joseph. Just Cody being his usual pathetic self. Joseph. Defensive. Hey, lay off him, Junior. He's a good guy. Cody. Gratefully. Thanks, Joseph. You're always sticking up for me. Joseph. Smirks. Yeah? Well, someone's got to keep you from getting your ass kicked all the time. Cut to. Int Cody's apartment. Day. Cody is sitting on his couch scrolling through TikTok. He comes across a video of a plastic surgeon advertising his services. Cody, excitedly. Oh my God, this is it. This is the answer to all my problems. He immediately calls the number on the screen and sets up an appointment. Cut to INT Plastic Surgeon's office, day. Cody is sitting in a chair, nervously fidgeting. The plastic surgeon, a shady looking man with a thick accent, enters the room. Plastic surgeon, smiling. Hello, my dear, I am Dr. Vladimir. I understand you want to look more masculine. Cody, nervously. E yes, I want to look like a real man. Plastic surgeon, winking. Oh, I can help you with that. But first, you must pay me. Cody hands over a wad of cash and Dr. Vladimir gets to work. Cut to Iant Cody's apartment later. Cody is recovering from his plastic surgery. He's bandaged up and looks like a mess. Joseph and Junior are sitting on the couch staring at him in disbelief. Joseph, concerned. Cody, are you okay? You look like you've been through a war. Cody, groggily. I'm, I'm fine, just a little sore. Junior, sarcastically. Yeah, you look great, like a total freak. Suddenly, the doorbell rings. It's Brooklyn Guy, a cop and doc who's also a bit of a smart aleck. Brooklyn Guy smirking. Hey, what's going on here? I heard someone was getting a sex change. Joseph. Defensively. It's not a sex change, officer. It's a plastic surgery gone wrong. Brooklyn guy. Chuckling. Oh, I see. Well, let me take a look. He examines Cody's face and shakes his head. Brooklyn guy. Laughing. Oh, this is a mess. You look like a creepy doll come to life. Cody. Deflated. I know. I just wanted to be more confident. Brooklyn guy smirks. Well, confidence comes from within, Cody, not from some shady plastic surgeon's scalpel. Junior, sarcastically. Yeah, and being gay and nerdy doesn't help. Joseph, defensively. Hey, that's not cool, Junior. Brooklyn guy, interrupting. Enough, you guys. Let's just focus on getting Cody's face fixed. He pulls out his phone and starts dialing. Brooklyn guy, smirking. I've got a guy who can fix this. He's a bit of a miracle worker. Cut to... I ain't Cody's apartment later. Cody's face has been fixed, and he looks like his old self again. Joseph and Junior are sitting on the couch looking relieved. Brooklyn Guy is standing over Cody, smiling. Brooklyn Guy, smirking. See, Cody, I told you it would be okay. Cody, gratefully. Thanks, guys. I don't know what I would have done without you. Joseph, smiling. No problem, buddy. That's what friends are for. Junior, sarcastically. Yeah, friends who are gay and nerdy and have plastic surgery disasters.